Hello and welcome to News 9. And the big story that we're tracking this hour is that six-year-old Timmana has been stuck in a 160-foot deep bore well for the last 22 hours. And the latest roadblock in the rescue operations is that Manjir Gowda's robot has failed to rescue the child. Rescue workers are looking for other options now. Uh, Manjir Gowda was called in from Mandya along with the robot that he said could rescue children but a major roadblocks in front of them in the form of the fact that the child is almost 160 feet deep in the bore well and also the robot is slightly broad to enter below the 100 feet depth. Well in fact this is the big news that we were bringing to you at the moment where uh, the rescue workers are now looking for other options. Hopes were high that the robot will be able to rescue the child as the NDRF could take at least two days to dig a parallel tunnel and reach out to the child and for the child to hold on for two more days at a depth of 160 feet could be difficult and that is the reason why uh, they were hoping that this robot could come in as a change, could come in as a welcome change, could bring about uh, that life in the rescue operations. But unfortunately, that has not been the case as the robot has failed. It is unable to reach the little child and grip onto the little child and pull him up. Well, my colleague uh, Arun joins us with more details on this. Well, uh, I don't know if you can just take us through the details as to why exactly this robot did not work. There is uh, one major reason being attributed for this, uh, Nishita. It said that the robot uh, perhaps was not uh, wide enough to go inside the uh, bore well. Remember, uh, it had in the earlier attempt been able to go up to about uh, 120 odd feet, but then uh, there was a malfunction and uh, then uh, it had to be extracted out. Now we are given to believe that uh, the robot's functioning itself is now come under a bit of cloud because remember uh, the uh, inventor of the robot, Manjay Gowda, had gone on record to suggest that uh, he had never used the robot uh, in a live operation. That is, uh, it had never been used uh, so far in rescuing a child which had stuck, which was stuck inside a bore well, and they had only used a dummy or a doll. So uh, clearly that could have had, a, uh, had an influence on the decision to call off the robot's use during the rescue operations, uh, Nishita. Right. Uh, and also now we understand that uh, the Rural Development Minister, H.K. Bartle, has come down heavily on the government officials, on the PDO as well as the other officials involved in this particular case. What are the steps being taken and how far will they be effective, uh, Arun? The government is clearly embarrassed. It is uh, completely pushed to the wall because there have been two successive uh, incidents where uh, uh, young children, in fact, below the age of eight, have fallen into bore wells and they have died. Remember, there was one incident of a girl uh, recently in Bijapur uh, where uh, she, the four-year-old child uh, fell into the bore well and uh, she was brought out dead. And then uh, there have been several such instances in 2007, 2009, etc. So clearly the uh, government is now left red-faced and that's the reason why it has issued these guidelines on uh, what needs to be done. In fact, these are very strict guidelines which have to be uh, enforced at the village level by the respective uh, officials concerned. The guidelines basically operate on four principles. One is to get, uh, to have the government officials at the Gram Panchayat level know for sure how many bore wells are in existence in their respective panchayat uh, limits and whether these bore wells are owned by the government or are operated by private people and uh, the most significant or most important guideline is on closure of dry or uh, unused bore wells remember there are quite a lot of wells which have dried up because uh, water uh, either the water tables have depleted uh, far and below or uh, there is not enough water itself. So um, th those uh, dry or uh, unused bore wells need to be immediately closed because they could pose a serious threat to the lives 
of not just children but also of commoners because anyone could slip into one of these bore wells. There is very little by way of protective uh, construction that happens for these kind of bore wells. That's the second and most important um, or significant observation. The third observation relates to uh, what is the ru uh, duty, rules and responsibilities of owners of private bore wells because remember there are quite a lot of uh, private bore wells in operation across the uh, state and uh, the owners to close the, pri uh, the unused uh, or dried up private bore well lies with the private owner and if he is found uh, wanting on this particular task then not only will he be taken to task but even the person who excavated the, the bore well company which uh, excavated that bore well will that owner also will be held responsible so that is the other more, most important uh, development on that count and more importantly the uh, guidelines also now mandate that there should be an noc or a no objection certificate which needs to be obtained by any person any private person who is desirous of uh, uh, um, sinking a bore well so this uh, bore well a, a private person will not be allowed to sink a new bore well unless he is able to get a no objection certificate. So clearly the government now pushed to the wall realizing uh, that it needs to get its act together and that's the reason why it's come out with these guidelines. So clearly at this point of time, uh, first question is uh, the government gets information um, it has a 10-day window to get information on all the bore wells in operation in a particular gram panchayat limit. Um, it is able to maintain a database. Second thing is to close down the uh, uh, dried up or uh, wasted bore well. Third thing is if it's a case of a private bore well, then the onus or responsibility lies with the uh, owner of the bore well. And if he is not going to close down, then he could be arrested. And not only that, he will not uh, the company which uh, undertook the digging of the bore well itself, that owner could be also facing legal uh, um, legal action. And the most important thing is, in those cases where a private person wants to sink a new bore well, he needs to get a no objection certificate from the Gram Panchayat officials concerned. So clearly, the government now getting all its um, act together trying to issue these guidelines. Now we will have to wait and watch to see how these are implemented and how swiftly and effectively these are implemented, Nishchita. Right, uh, thank you for joining us with all those uh, details there, Arun. Well, uh, uh, there we have it. Uh, the guidelines have been put in place and now uh, the government, which is visibly embarrassed with the numerous incidents coming up in the state, claiming lives in many a times, uh, uh, the rescue operations are not successful, where uh, dried bore wells have proved to be death traps for little children, has now come down heavily on the government officials. But is that enough? Is suspending officials enough or will they have to go about and actually raise awareness in each and every house, in each and every village, uh, dispatch many officials? officials, groups of volunteers to actually go out there and raise awareness on the kind of uh, death traps that these abandoned bore wells have time again uh, proven to be. Just a few weeks back right here in our studios we were debating how uh, a precious life in the form of three-year-old Akshita was lost because of uh, one careless man leaving uh, the bore well open and here in Sulikere in Bagal Kote uh, another child is being put to risk. Uh, because of uh, the bore well being abandoned by his own family members. Well, in fact, earlier we even caught up with uh, the parents, the father of the little child, and he is absolutely inconsolable. In fact, uh, the father is uh, going on to state that... Uh, they are uh, in a position where they are willing to give in anything, do anything uh, to rescue their little one. Six-year-old uh, Timana was uh, playing in his field when he accidentally slipped and fell into the bore well. well. When we spoke to a few experts previously, they went on to state how because of uh, the recent digging or because of the fresh digging of the bore well, there might be a lot of clay around the region and clay is extremely slippery and because of the moisture in the soil thanks to the incessant rainfall, the child must have slipped and fallen inside. And though he initially was stuck at a depth of uh, 10 feet, 
he later fell to 60 feet and then 130 and now he is at 160 feet. 160 is extremely deep for the child to be stuck in and for the rescue operations to actually reach out to him. Well, in fact, several concerned citizens are also doing their bit. There are special prayer, special prayers, in fact, being organized in various schools across uh, the state for uh, Little Timana. The schools have been gathering all uh, the students and they're offering prayers by lighting candles. Even in the assembly session, we saw several offer prayers for uh, the good health of uh, Timana as uh, many children, schools, many people across the state are seeing shock that in such a short span of time are we looking at the possibility of losing another life to another case of negligence on part of the officials as well as the people themselves to leave a bore well open. Well, through the media, through our channel, we have told time and again how even if you don't have enough funds for, to get the bore well shut, then fill it with gravel, it can become a source of groundwater rejuvenation. And also the government needs to make it mandatory as to whoever gets the contract to dig the bore well, if they realize that there is no scope of uh, water being present in the bore well, then they will have to shut it. It is part of their duty, otherwise their licenses should be cancelled. Reports also suggest uh, that uh, in this particular case, the family intended to dig further and they wanted to first put in a casing and then dig further, but that did not happen. And before that, we have uh, a caller joining us over the phone line, a concerned citizen from Rajagopal Nagar. Mr. Raj Gopal, in fact, uh, joins us over the phone line. Yes, Mr. Raj Gopal, please go ahead. Mr. Raj Gopal, if you can hear us, can you please mute your television set and please go ahead and share your views. Hello. Well, uh, we will uh, take your thoughts too and you can call us and share your views with us. But it is uh, truly a tragic incident uh, they're being reported from uh, Bagal Forte. We have been tracking this story right from the beginning of the rescue operation. We have a caller, Raj Gopal, now who joins us over the phone line. Yes, uh, Mr. Raj Gopal, what do you have to say? Hello, this type of resolutions, this type of uh, decisions have been taking every time this happens, you know. But uh, again, everybody sleeps and this issue again comes up when another incident happens. So why this is type of uh, negligence in spite of uh, several accidents happening this way? Right, absolutely. That, that's the question. In fact, even we are raising with the government, uh, th there is not enough uh, awareness on the kind of yeah. uh, problems that these open no, governments both, could Both public as well as government. Uh, they seem to be, you know, go, going back to sleep every time. You know, chief minister calls for a meeting. All the DCs will come. They will take resolutions and then they pass decisions. They will make uh, rules and regulations and uh, back to square one after about 15 days or one month. Right. Uh, well, thank you, Mr. Raj Gopal, for uh, sharing your thoughts with us. Well, uh, there we have it. Even as the prayers are being offered for uh, Little Timana, rescue operations continue.